Let's go to some Python on hardware news. We're going to do something a little different this week. Of course, check out the newsletter, but this is breaking news. So this is not in the newsletter yet. So but, it is after the newsletter came out this but week. But Espressive acquires a majority stake in M5 stack, which, which makes a lot of sense when you think about it. So Lady Ada, why is this a big deal? And why did you say, hey, let's talk about that? Well, first off, um, N5 Stack and Espressif are doing a lot of MicroPython development. And a lot of people use MicroPython uh, and Python on hardware on the M5 Stack hardware. And we have CircuitPython for many of those boards as well. Um, they're great because they're like physically like enclosed. Like what, you know, we do, we don't do as much injection molded stuff. We tend to do like breakout boards and stuff where you would wire it up and it's, you know, for, for DIY electronics, that's my, that's my jam. But, um, what thing that M5 stack does really well is they make stuff with enclosures, uh, and they, you know, they make, they've kind of figured it out. They've got like this rugged plug and play system. Um, but I thought it was interesting because I think this will mean that there's going to be a lot more of the newer chips coming out in like the M5 format. And like I said, it's, I think they're gonna, as the chips are getting bigger and bigger and more complicated, I think they're going to have to move to doing MicroPython and other Python hardware because like once you get to the P4 series of chips, like there's just so much complexity that compiling the code is just gonna take forever. Um, especially since I think platform IO is no longer like the number one suggested, um, IDE integration for Espressive. I think they said like they still support it, but it's not like the primary support. Um, so I think that's a, a good opportunity for them to pivot into MicroPython. Yeah, I think this makes a lot of sense because if you're Espressive, you need kind of a dedicated showcase of your hardware. Mm. You need to show what all of it can do and you need to be able to plug in all these things together and you can wait for people to produce these things um wait till someone adopts it but you know it's not necessarily available to developers because it's yeah. some of its unfinished things i like how this is like yeah it's like the next step up it's like it's like it's like stuff is like enclosed yeah I, I think it'll also help um if they have tighter integration with espressive they'll probably um they'll, their designs will probably get technically more not that they're not bad now but it's like they're gonna get more advanced yeah so um you'll see this in the newsletter next week but we wanted to have yeah. this breaking news now we used to have a segment called maker business um but well, yeah. this is this this it just interleaves it so i think if you do python on hardware you're going to be pleasantly surprised because anything that has espressive is now going to have more f5 stack stuff and you'll be able and to do able to do more micro python yeah they think they have a, a fork of micro python for a lot of their boards would be cool they got integrated into mainline yeah all right um the newsletter is available every single week on it for daily get it delivered to your inbox ping 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 Go to adafruitdaily.com. It's a separate site because we do not spam you. We want a completely separate site.